Hello and welcome to Place Bach. In a slight detour from the usual gardening videos, I'm going to talk today about my YouTube journey and also show you around the space I've created as a backdrop for future videos. So I started this YouTube channel two months ago and it's been a steep learning curve, figuring out how to video, how to edit. I'm really having fun. Well, I'd love it if this was one of those videos saying how to get a thousand subscribers in just two months. It's not. At the moment, I've got 57 subscribers. But honestly, I am so happy about that. A recent video I posted about Milo got 2,500 views, which blows my mind. So that prompted me to maybe take this YouTube thing a little bit more seriously. The first thing I've done is create a new intro segment for my videos. This is the first time I'm going to be showing it. So have a look. I'm pretty happy with the final result. I'm still undecided about the colours. I went with quite muted tones. I do have another video that's purple and orange, but it might be a bit too bling. Let me know what you think. Pop a comment below. I can always play further with the colours. The second new thing is the space behind me. I figured I needed an area where I could make videos inside, especially when it's raining outside. And here in West Wales, we get a lot of rain. So let's have a look. I've got the desk here, which is a good working space, and I can show you how to sow seeds, plants, what have you. Uh, beautiful Saracena here. They do fine outside. I just brought it in because it does protect it from the elements a little bit and stops it looking quite so tatty. Over in this space, I've got the work area. I've got big buckets here where I keep all the different kinds of compost in, a little bench to sit on. Some really pretty pots here for house plants. I'm just waiting for the right house plant to find to put in them. This here's a picture I did. It's a carving into driftwood and it was meant to go into the bathroom. When I was making it, that's what I had in mind. However, I hadn't realised that the wood I was working with had been treated with some kind of wood preservative and it stinks. So I've not been able to find a space for it. It's had to be outside and now I've got the, the perfect, perfect place. I've got this cool chain that we dug up out of the garden. Love that. This bit of driftwood here, I am... Um, Put a hook on that and so I'm planning to put some plants inside and hang that up somewhere. Just haven't found the right plants yet. If you have any ideas again pop them in the comments below. This here is a really cool lantern I picked up in an antique shop. So the idea is I'll put a really big candle in that and hang it up in the garden in the summer. It's gonna look good. And then the final part of this area are these shelves here. They've got some various bits and bobs on them, but I do like these little pots. I'm a big fan of small pots. They're very useful. Um, and this is a really cool little fella. I found him on a junk market in Brussels. So that's it. I'm really enjoying making these videos and sharing my love of gardening, plants and this little ball of fluff. So please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll be making another video in a few months time saying how I got to 1000 subscribers. Bye for now. <laughs>